Patients with HOFH typically have insufficient responses to most recommended lipid-lowering therapies, such as statins, azetamide, bempidoic acid, and PCSK9 targeting agents, which depend directly or indirectly on functioning LDL receptors. Because their LDL receptors work ineffectively, are few in number, or are completely absent, patients with HOFH need lipid-lowering treatments that work independently of the LDL receptor. The body generates and utilizes varying sizes and densities of lipoproteins. Less dense lipoproteins, like LDL, are atherogenic, but increasing evidence supports that triglyceride-rich lipoproteins, such as intermediate density lipoprotein, or IDL, and very large low-density lipoprotein, or VLDL, may also be strongly associated with atherosclerotic risk. Although the exact mechanisms are still being investigated, angiopoietin-like 3, or ANG-PTL3, a glycoprotein produced by the liver, regulates hepatic secretion of triglyceride-rich lipoproteins. Irrespective of the LDL receptor, ANG-PTL3 suppresses lipoprotein lipase, or LPL, and endothelial lipase, or EL, which are central mechanisms for clearing triglyceride-rich lipoproteins from the circulation. Evanocumab is a fully human monoclonal antibody that inhibits ANG-PTL3, thereby increasing LPL activity. This promotes triglyceride hydrolysis of VLDL, leading to reduced production and increased clearance of LDLC. In patients with HOFH without functioning LDL receptors, especially those with null-null mutations, inhibiting ANG-PTL3 appears to reduce LDLC through EL activity. This remodels VLDL, resulting in remnant particles that are rapidly cleared and depletion of LDLC precursors. Consequently, evanocumab can reduce LDLC by about 50% in patients with HOFH.